Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at pagination in Excel Livewire. So let's get started. Now, before we write any code, I would like to make one correction regarding the validation episode. I, in the episode, I mentioned that you could do request, validate, and then pass in your rules for the first method. Uh, and I didn't actually use that in the video myself. I used the second method, but that's the mistake. You just need to replace this request with this, and then you should be good to go. So I didn't actually notice that in the video. I just wanted to make the correction here today, guys, in case any of you want to use that method. If you're doing what I have here, basically defining rules using annot annotations, then you have nothing to worry about. But I did mention that in the video comments as well. So let's get back to the original video. So in order to do pagination with LiveWire, it's very similar to how you would do it with Laravel itself. Wherever you're getting your basically models, right? You're basically querying your database. Instead of using all or get, you can instead go ahead and call paginate. That's a method that comes in. I have a video about pagination if you guys want to check that out. And then inside this paginate method, you can pass in the number of items per page. So for me, I'm going to say five. Okay, very easy to do. And then one last thing you need to do inside your component is basically uh, add use with pagination. So there is a trait called with pagination that comes with LiveWare, and you need to include that. Otherwise, your code will not work. So I'm going to save that in and go back to our page. And we can see we have only five results. So now we need to basically add the pagination buttons. And that's quite easy to do. Basically, inside your blade file, go ahead and get your collection variables for us as users and then call a method on it called links. So this will be available after you call the paginate method. So that's all you have to do basically inside your blade file. So let's save that in, go back. And as you guys can see, we have our pagination buttons just like this. Now by default, Livewire uses Tailwind. If you guys want to switch to Bootstrap, there is actually a way to do it. So to do it, to switch to Bootstrap, uh, you have to go inside the Livewire documentation, click on installation, uh, scroll down a little bit and find this publishing the config file, okay? Copy that, go inside your application, open up the terminal, make sure you're in the directory. I already have run it, but I'll run it again. And after you have done that, you should be able to see a file named inside your config, livewire.php, okay? Now inside this file, if you guys, there are a bunch of different configurations, you guys can check that out yourself. But if you scroll down, you should be able to see a config called pagination team. Okay. And if you want to switch to bootstrap, just copy this bootstrap from here and replace it with Tailwind. And that's all you have to do. And basically the library will use bootstrap. Now, right now I have Tailwind on this project, so it looks just, uh, it doesn't look good. So I'll switch this back to Tailwind. Now you can also have your own custom template if you guys like. So in order to do that, you do need to go to the documentation and on the left side, scroll down and find pagination. So this is it. I'll click on it and you need to go all the way down to the page to a section called modifying default pagination views. Okay. So if you want, don't like the bootstrap team, or maybe you don't even use bootstrap or uh, tailwind and you want to modify that, basically you can go ahead and copy this command that is given to you right here. I'll just copy this. I'll paste that in and it will go ahead and publish all the pagination view files. So it's going to be inside vendor. And then you have like bootstrap, simple bootstrap, simple tailwind, and then tailwind. Okay. And what you can do is actually go ahead and modify that with whatever you like, right? Or inside here, we can create your own custom team if you like, totally fine. And then basically use this as a reference. Okay. So for example, what I can do is I'll take this tailwind one. And I'll add my own team here. I'll call it uh, test.blade.php. You can name it whatever you like. I'm just doing it for testing purposes. So I'm going to take the actual template as a reference, paste it in because you do need to know all the different options they have. And then for just testing purposes, I'll give it like BG red. Okay. I just give it a red background. And then to switch to this, it's actually mentioned in the documentation. Quite easy to do. Basically, just pass in the path to that blade file. Okay. So for me, uh, all I have to do is 
go inside my blade component and it's inside here i'll need to give the path to my view file so it's inside vendor uh, dot live wire dot test that's all you have to do and then i'll go back i'll reload the page and as you can see we have we are using the test one that i just made so if you would like to modify the template for your own needs maybe you don't you're not using bootstrap or liveware sorry tailwind uh, you are also able to do that quite easily just like i showed you make sure you export the templates and you can either modify the tailwind one or create a new one and use the tailwind one or the bootstrap one as a reference and then um, give it your own styling and that is all guys for today so the next episode we're going to actually use everything we have learned so far and build our own first project from start to finish doing everything from create read update the entire crowd thing so i'm very excited for the next episode and yeah that is all for today guys thank you for supporting the series all the likes and all the comments i truly appreciate it and that's all for today have a great day